Okay, here I am again. Um, you probably came here right after, um, or right before seeing my recent vlog. Um, as I said in there, my goal in this one is, um, for a friend of mine, because he doesn't, he was wondering how to mod a rider belt, because, well, you tell me. Is this going to fit an American waistline? I don't think so. So, I decided to do this little tutorial video. Um, first, what you need, obviously, is the belt straps. Um, this works <coughs> the best with belts that come apart on one side, or both. So, anything... Um, before Kabuto, I think. You can still do, but you're just going to have to untie and retie behind your back every time. Um, I've seen videos where um, they actually unscrew this part and this part here and actually mod it with real belts or seat belts or something. <coughs> um, as a matter of fact, I've also seen somebody who took two rider belts and used this part that connects to this part and put this part on the second belt and put the second belt piece on that there here and when he wants to switch he just um, swivels it around his waist so this would end up around the back and the other belt would end up around the front I don't really want to try that I'm sure it works fine but this is how I mod all of my rider belts um, so as I said First, you need the belt itself. Then, get a long piece of... Well, my first rider belt was technically the Dragonite belt, but that's not a rider. <laughs> so, my first belt was my Decca Driver. What I did was I got an old pair of pants, ripped out the drawstring, cut it in half, and you end up with two pieces like this. So, <clears throat> you take this part of the belt and push the drawstring through the connector part do it like this so it's like this and tie it twice or three times depending on how much you want to once and twice and just for safety's sake because sometimes these tend to come apart three times Then, you take this part of the belt that comes apart, and push it through here. You may have to wet the string a little bit so it'll push through, or twist it so it... It's like threading a needle, because, uh... These things aren't really all that big, so it might take a little doing. But once you once you get it through, you get it tied off, it's a lot easier. So once twice three times okay now that those two pieces are tied to get tied off you put the belt back together and then you take your two end pieces because as I said hopefully you might want to you cut your string in half or you can get two strings Whichever works best for you. Tie them off once. Twice. Three times so you have a nice big knot like that. Now, 
I don't know how many people, how many of you know a guy who, or a girl who weighs this much. <coughs> but the next part <coughs> is... Take your belt, pull it around behind you, take off anything on your waist, like my digivice here. Make sure the belt is right side up. Hold it in place. Now you have this. So now you take this and you twist it several times. <coughs> I don't know how many times this is going to take. But do it quite a few times so that it tightens up the string behind you. See, I'm going to need to do it quite a few more times. Of course, you can always just use a shorter string, but this is the only thing available to me at the time, so this is how I modded my DECA driver. Now, as you turn, the string <coughs> or whatever you use is going to get shorter and shorter as it... Sh as it rolls itself up. So now be careful sometimes the string will catch your shirt or your pants depending on what kind of material your pants or shirt is made of. So just keep turning it and the string will roll itself up and get shorter so that you can easily make this belt or any belt for that matter as loose or as tight as you want. I don't recommend making it too tight because then if you like to wear it a lot and you try to sit it'll squeeze your stomach and it won't feel all that good but I wouldn't recommend making it too short, too loose either. So let's see how far I'm coming along. Not quite. Okay. Now <coughs> I'm a numbers person sometimes, so um, when I do things like I'm stirring something or I'm doing this, I like to count in my head. So like right now I'm counting to 50, so, well actually I will be when I stop talking, but I don't think that would be quite as entertaining for you just to watch somebody twist and turn a belt strap. Um, so I just, so right now I'm just twisting it as, um, as much as I think I need to. Oh, not yet either. So, we'll just keep twisting. <coughs> and yes, the first time I did this, it took this long too. So, just, just keep twisting until you can, uh, Till you feel comfortable with how tight or loose you want this to be. Now that's 20. I counted to 20 that time. And as you can see, I'm getting closer. So let's try another 20. Almost. Okay, another 20, and we should be getting closer. See? Now it fits perfectly. It won't move. It won't move. No matter what I'm doing, and it fits really nice. Now, if you want it even tighter, just undo it, do another 10. There, now it's even tighter and it fits even better. So, and I can do whatever I need to with it. As a matter of fact, just, to be, just for the fun of it, there. So, that's how you modify a rider belt. Um, you can use any kind of string or anything you want. 
<clears throat> I've even seen people use um, zip ties. Um, I know Zeran Zephyr uses two zip ties because he's paper thin as it is, and he's just that a little bit f uh, that much away from actually fitting it for real. <coughs> so yeah, you can use zip ties if you want. Just you'd probably need more than two. So <coughs> that was how to mod a rider belt, and that was this is dedicated directly to C.J. Dellinger, who asked how to do it in the first place. So, good luck on all your future rider belt modifications, and I'll see you later with my Tasha Spinner. Um, later.